Um, we got a lifting and moving video. We're gonna start off, you know, we're eventually gonna go into the stretcher, but we're gonna start off with body mechanics and which parts of our bodies we utilize to actually lift a patient. Um, each EMT is expected to lift on average 150 pounds, um, including uh, the equipment. And so we're gonna demonstrate what, maybe some of you have like a side profile. Um, so we can get, get some side profile, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so, we're gonna do some air squats, but before we start air squatting, um, how far should our feet be apart from each other? Shoulder, Shoulder width. Um, and how should our toes be pointed um, forward, but like inward like this, like like a penguin or like, yeah, slightly like what? Outward. Slightly outward. Um, and then is there anything going on with our back? Neutral, strange. Neutral, and then what about your chest like what are we thinking about with our chest as we're going down Stay so chest out back neutral straight um, and then with your head it's not the biggest deal but what, what do you want your head to be okay, straight. neutral straight up okay um, and as you bend so what parts of our body are actually bending then oh, okay so let's do about five um, let's have let's have uh, Kimberly and Ginny on the side that's good yeah just to get a side side <laughs> And then go ahead and do drop drop down and do five. Let's see how we're doing. So kind of up. Yeah. So on three. One, two, three. One. <laughs> two. I like you, Dan. Three. Thanks. Four. Jen, you're not going low enough. Five. <laughs> okay. No, that was pretty decent. That was pretty decent. Um, so now that we're kind of warmed up. We're gonna have um, our patient Dan hop on this stretcher. This stretcher is a little too high, but I guess before we hop on, we're gonna give a quick tour of this stretcher. So this brand is is uh, Striker, and everything that's red is able to articulate a piece of that stretcher. So we got the locking mechanism, and as you can tell, this doesn't squeeze until the weight of the patient in the stretcher is off off all four wheels. Um, so that's a safety mechanism. This, uh, the feet part of the stretcher can come up, but we don't teach this, we don't utilize this position anymore. This is called Trendelenburg. Try to get the fluid back to the core. Um, we got the handles that can come up and down. You kind of just squeeze these red handles and they can come down. There's a red handle on the bottom right here. So if you're in a tight spot, for example, an elevator, we can uh, bring that down and then raise the head of the stretcher up and down, however um, the patient feels comfortable. Um, as you notice, I think this is a rather older striker, but there's only one brake on here. Um, I think the newer strikers do have even a steering uh, mechanism, but uh, to protect yourself, anytime a patient is coming on or off the stretcher, um, or anytime there's a patient on the stretcher, we should always have at least two hands, whether that's your two hands or one of your hands and your partner's one hand on the stretcher. Um, and so let's have Dan hop on. Uh, I think we got Viri and Kimberly to be our um, EMTs. So why don't you guys, um, you don't have to do it by yourself, but kind of bring the stretcher down to the height of Dan's waist. Let's say Dan can walk, he's ambulatory and he can come down. And so how do we communicate? Let's say you didn't know each other or you're not as BFFs as you are. Um, how would you communicate to each other before you kind of go up and down on the stretcher? On three, we're going to lower, lift up more. And so on the back right here, a lot of um, students have this question of like, where do we hold? Where do we hold? Do we, do we hold this bar right here? And this bar is just kind of a locking latch. It, it'll latch onto a hook uh, on the back of the ambulance. So when you're lifting the, the stretcher up and down, we actually just hold from this yellow bar. We want to use palms up. Um, and then whoever is at the feet part of the stretcher is in control. So they're going to be the ones dictating where they want to go up or down um, and at what time. So on three, let's go up. Um, and for us smaller um, people, we're going to utilize the lower um, handle. So we're utilizing more lower body rather than um, curling the stretcher. And so go ahead and kind of bring it down to Dan's waist. Right. On three, one, two, three. And then you let go of that red at the um, height that you want it to get at. And then go ahead and call your patient over to the stretcher. Ambulatory, so please hop on. Would you like to sit up or lay down? 
This is fine. Sure. That that looks awkward, Dan. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna secure secure the the patient. We're gonna bring up this rail. We got shoulder straps. <laughs> and then a buckle comes right through that shoulder harness. What did you guys call it? The safe safe T. Oh, look at that. Mm. And then you want to make sure nice and everything's nice and snug. Okay. Um, and let's say we're about to load Dan into the ambulance, so we want to elevate the, the stretcher slightly. Um, and so just like before, you're going to communicate. All right, on three, we're going to rise up. All right, one, two, three. And then Kimberly's going to let go at the designated height, and then you're going to pop the stretcher into the ambulance. <laughs> that's it. No, that's, that's, that's high. It's, yeah, you're good. Yeah. Okay, good job, guys. Um, let's bring it down. One, two. Okay. Um, and then we'll we'll uh, walk away from Dan. Bye, Dan. Bye. <laughs>